This is my kofta. I'm using ground beef today, but you can use lamb. And I've got some great condiments to go with it. This is my version of kofta. I'm doing it with some ground chuck today. An 80-20 mix. You can do it with lamb too, but we're going to put it on a, on a skewer. There's two skewers, a double like this, or a metal flat skewer. So I've got a pound, just before this is below on the top. So I've got a pound of fresh ground chuck. I've got some onion. It's kind of minced. Clove of garlic. Some fresh cracked pepper. When you add the seasonings in, try and scatter it all over the meat. You don't want any spice hot spots. And I've got some onion salt. Some ground cumin. Some coriander. Turmeric. Some kosher salt. Some garlic salt. Oregano. And some cinnamon. It's just a pinch. It's about a, an eighth of a teaspoon. That adds a really exotic taste to it. This kind of reminds me of my shawarma. Now I'm just going to mix this up with my hand. Make sure it's well blended. There, I like that. I'm going to divide this up into six. Try and get as even as you can. There, I've divided that up into six even balls here. If you have flat metal skewers, you can use them. Or I find that when you're using skewers like this, you can get these at the dollar store. They're just disposable. If you go two side by side like this, it actually works out really well because it won't spin on the on the skewer. So we want to make it sort of like into a sausage shape. Something about like that. There, there's six. What I'm going to do now is put it in the fridge and let it, let the flavors meld for probably about an hour or two. So into the fridge. I'll see you in a couple hours. Okay, so I put my cough day in the fridge for two hours exactly to let the flavors meld. And uh, you can see that it's kind of firmed up. It's going to be like cooking a burger. It's pretty straightforward. I'm going to do it on the grill today. But you could also form these into uh, one inch patties and fry them in a pan. Or you could uh, put them underneath the broiler in the oven. That would work. And I'm going to cook direct here. But I'll show you a little trick. So I didn't soak the skewers. But if you put a piece of tin foil underneath the wooden part, then you won't get a flare up. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put these on. Get it just like a burger. I've got a medium high heat. Another trick that you can do is if this goes on, you can put this one over top so that the heat deflects off the bottom one. Okay, my kofta went for about four minutes aside, uh, medium high heat direct to get some nice char marks on it. I put the tin foil underneath. Let's take some of these off. Oh yeah. Cook this the way that you like, but I highly recommend doing it on the grill. Oh, that looks so good. And the smell is just fantastic. So I've got my condiments out here. I made this um, actually yesterday. That's my black soybean hummus. And there's only soybean hummus only has a couple of cups per half cup. This is my black soybean hummus. It's made with organic black soybeans and there's virtually no carbs in it at all. A half cup and that's probably a cup right there. There's only like two net carbs in that. I highly recommend that. This is garlic aioli. Nice and spicy. And this is tabbouleh. The recipe for these condiments are below in the comments section. And this tabbouleh is actually like real tabbouleh, but it only has the tomato, parsley, a little bit of onion, olive oil, and some salt and pepper. 
Now, to serve this, you can go with a lettuce leaf, like a traditional lettuce leaf like this, and just put your, put your kofta inside and put your condiments in, knead it like that. Or you can go with a low-carb tortilla. And these are fit and active from Aldi, actually. And four net carbs per tortilla. I don't eat them all the time, but you know what? For tacos and chips and, and shawarma and, and my kofta, absolutely. I'd, uh, I'd have one of those and I'd put some hummus and some tabbouleh and aioli in there. Absolutely. Wow. We're eating well tonight. There's kofta. Meat on a stick. Thanks for watching.